these are my ideas for today. They're separate subjects. I thought I'd just do them all together to make things simpler with all this uploading. The first thing is if you have a problem with uh, keeping your toes separate because modern shoes push the toes together and eventually you start having pain and, and other, um, other foot problems because of it. So um, they sell in the stores and online uh, these toe caps and all it is is a little piece of foam and um, you get like five of them for fourteen dollars <laughs> yes it's true and maybe one of them for you know seven dollars and so it's like this long foam and you just cut the size you want if you have a taller toe or a shorter toe so what I did um, since I save elastic from old underclothes you know the waistband because they're very useful I, I cut a small piece off, something I think would fit my toe, and I put it around the toe to, to measure the size, whichever toe it happens to be that's being crowded. See, just like this. And then I just take some needle and thread and, uh, and put a, a, maybe four stitches in it to keep it from unraveling and um, it's easy to wash and you can make a lot of them just the main thing is don't throw stuff out now um, if you're someone who doesn't have any experience with sewing whether neither a machine neither by hand it's very easy and um, believe it or not I, I didn't know about this for a long time they have these needles, <laughs> these needles that you don't have to struggle to get, you know, the thread in the in the little opening. Um, this is this fascinates me. I don't know if you could tell, but on top of the there's a hole in the needle, but over that hole, there's the metal is like this, and you just have to push the thread in between there and, and it'll go down in another opening that's above the original opening. Let me see if I could show you with this one. All right. Okay. So here's the needle. I'm going to put this thread on top of the needle which is hard, <laughs> which is hard enough to do. Okay, so I put the thread on, on top of the needle and, and then I pulled it down tight and it went down in the opening. And now I'm ready to, almost ready to sew. You um, tie a knot in the bottom of the thread now you don't keep your two lines of thread together and tie the knot you just have a knot in one part of the thread and you pull the other one up now my home economics teacher in high school said it's not how much thread you use it's the stitch you use I'm sure that has philosophical uh, <laughs> examples for it but I can't think of them right now now Next subject, don't buy expensive towels, buy economy towels. And if it seems very dull and, and common to you, just sew, sew something on it. And if the towel is too big, you know, cut it. You know, a petite woman doesn't need this enormous towel that a, that a football player needs. Now, if I were to... Um, if I were to cut the towel, let, let's say here, cut a towel, which I did. And then if I were to try and put this in the sewing machine, you know, 
you're folding this twice over to have a nice edge and you're probably going to break the needle because it's just too much to go through so that's why you have to sew this by hand and so after I did that I took some spare fabric and folded it over the uh, edges and uh, and so there's trim on the, there's trim on the towel now see next subject when I was doing home health in Miami I think I think practically every one of my patients was born in Cuba and so they taught me things about cooking and about cleaning so what they got me accustomed to which is a great thing is the Cuban stick mop which is just made it's just made with PVC pipe. So this is the bottom, and here's the handle. And the reason mine has brown paint on it is because once I, I connected a paintbrush to the top so I could paint some, place, some part of the house that was really high up. I think it was the shed that I had on the farm. Um, okay, so what do you do with this stick mop? I don't have a big piece of the rag they put on it. I just have this little one, so I'm going to show you with this. They cut a hole in the middle of it. Oh, that was the fan, the ceiling fan. And um, then they put it down through here. And my patients didn't use it wet. They used it dry because with this kind of material, I don't know what they call it, but on a dry floor and with this dry rag, it picks up every hair, every pet fur, every piece of dust, it just sticks to it. So actually, um, this is supposed to be longer, of course. And the beauty of this, you have one side, you turn it over, you have the other side, it's still clean. And then you take this off and you turn it around and then you have four sides because here's two other sides, this side and this side for you to clean with. So you don't have to clean the rag that's on your mop so frequently. It, it, it does more for you. Now, you don't need this special material, although it's the best. You could take an old towel. You take the old towel. You find the center of it. And, and you cut, you know, about two inches, an inch and a half. And then, then you have your homemade Cuban stick mop rag. So I'm going to put this on here. And, and you see? And you'd be surprised the dust that it picks up. And it's much easier washing a floor if you pick up the dust to dry first, and then after that, wash it. Then you could use this um, or another one and wash the floor the same way. And I think that's it. Oh, I wanted to say something else about thread. If you're just getting started, there's some very... Um, thick thread in the store that will not work in a sewing machine. It's used for crafts. It will work for hand sewing, of course. It's thick. Now for your sewing machine, you're going to need, see how much thinner it is? You're going to need a thinner thread. Now, so what does it say on these spools? Well, 
It usually says 100% polyester. Cotton is more expensive. And um, it'll say all purpose on it. And this other one for crafts and some hand sewing says 75% polyester, 25% cotton. And it says on the top, button and craft thread. So these are very simple things, but, but you need to know them. And I know this might seem silly to some people, but there are people just starting out in life or they were busy doing other things during life and they don't know these, these simple things that are very helpful. And it feels so good to create.